How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with Mystery Beers. This is the second set of Mystery Beers. I kind of know what I'm drinking, but I kind of don't. Um, I'm going to post probably this set along with the other set uh, at the same time. So if you haven't watched the other one, you can dive into that one. Or you can watch this one, which is me doing all three versions of Julius from Treehouse. Um, there's a King Julius, this is a J -J -J Julius, and a Base Julius in here. Um, this comes courtesy of my boy Max. He set this up. Um, he's like, do you want these as mystery beers, as regular beers? And I was like, hey man, just mark them as mystery beers. Make the mystery beers, but put on which ones are Julius, which ones are green. That was the other set that I did. So I can go into them knowing which ones they are. So I can do like a blind side by side by side on these. Try to guess which ones they are. Talk about which ones I enjoy the most. It's a pretty fun experiment if you ask me. Julius is my favorite treehouse beer. I'm Team Julius all the way. Love me some green, but I'm kind of interested to dive in this one and see where it stacks up against itself. So let's do this much the same as we did last time. We got three glasses. We'll start with this one over here because that's what we do. Start from my right, your left, to your right. So we'll pour this one. I'll give you my initial impressions. I'm going to pour all three and then give you my impressions on them because last time I poured it and started guessing from the gate. Um, this looks like a big, hefty beer. And that was the weird part about it, too, is that the, the middle one was the, the one that was sweetest, most residual sugar one. And I was like, this has to be the highest ABV one. Um, it was the lowest ABV one. I kind of guessed the beers, which ones they were, um, but uh, but screwed up on that account. So it'll be interesting to see where this one kind of floats and see what's what. Okay. Here we're all relatively even pours here doing one proper treehouse glass take one of these keep these all in order i will pop that that'll be this one here these two i will move over so i do not lose my place and what do we have here um it'd be easier if i do this so you guys can actually see what's going on here um i mean they look all pretty much the same <sighs> this is it's hard because this Be willie beecher here is a little bit bigger um than the um than the other ones so that coloration on that one's going to be a little bit different in general um but it looks a bit darker this one's definitely darker than this one um but just by a touch um and this has kind of like a again a little bit more of a denser haze to it but you'd still have that going on um yeah see they're much closer once i actually get some light on them that's a little bit better comparison putting them down here so they all get a little bit of light beneath them I'm feeling OJ Julius, or OG Julius, OJ, I guess that kind of works too. OG Julius here, I think these are the two variants on that, just the way it looks. There's just this softness to this one that I just associate with Julius, so I have no idea which one's which, based off of the looks. Oh, spilling shit everywhere. I'm so good at spilling stuff. Man, my my spinning game, my swirling game is an unlock. Let's see if you get a nose. Hey, guess what? It smells like OJ. No shit, Sherlock. Um... Yeah, bright, bright orange juice vibes. Nice big pithy orange to it. Um, very aggressive, but at the same time, very welcoming. Not like over the top, kind of like two by four to the face kind of challenge beer. It's just beautiful OJ with that nice soft green component floating in the edge of it. I don't get much of those bumblegummy vibes that I typically get from um, from Julius. Or typically, get, a lot of people typically get from Treehouse beers, but I never really got that much on Julius to begin with, so... Yeah, just OJ all the way. No idea. We're going to dive into the other ones. Kind of base our guesses off that. Residual sweetness here. Much more than this one. So I'm going to guess based off of the last one. What was it? Um, go, 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 go. Green. Being super residual sweet forward. I'm going to assume that is. That would be kooky because it would be the middle one on both. Okay. This is where I kind of came in last time. I was like, <coughs> this is uh, <coughs> OG. And I said, this is the bigger version, which now I know isn't the case. It's just the sweeter version, which I'm assuming they're following the same kind of brewing pattern that did with the the J's, the J Julius, that they did with the G -G -G Greens. And over here, I kind of think this one's now the o o o like OG, because this one is way more OJ forward. This one's a little bit softer, a little bit lighter much the same as this one but just not as impactful and this one is much the same as both of these just a big sweetness on it so let's dive in cheers i'm gonna run through these fast hmm 
Hmm. I fucking love Julius, man. So goddamn good. And this is where kind of a little bit of experience comes into play. Not that I haven't had Julius a lot. I'd have a decent amount of it, but I haven't had it in quite some time. So going back into these. Hmm. A lot of quietness in this one, huh? I'm trying to base these off of just what I know. They all taste like Julius. Vibrant OJ around. That nice green pop that you get from a lot of um, treehouse-ish beers, but more specifically their kind of core line. They're Julius. They're green. Green, obviously, being much greener. And this nice kind of richness to it. This organic kind of OJ that a lot of people try to duplicate and go fall far short on. What I'm talking about is basing off experience. It's basically off, in, off of the green um, blind I did. Um, you know, it was kind of hard to go into it because I wasn't super familiar with each beer, so I, it was hard to kind of whittle down and figure out which one is which. Based off of that, I'm kind of mixing up my whole guesses from the visuals to the nose. Um, I'm going to go OG here. Ver uh, King Julius. J -j Julius here. Why? Just because that's how I feel it's going to go. I really... I'm just guessing here, this one comes off a little bit softer, a little bit drier. This one actually comes off the sweetest. The nose was bigger on this, sweet-wise. This one's definitely sweeter in the taste. So based off of what I experienced from the kind of green side-by-side-by-side, -by -side -by -side, blind side-by-side-by-side, -by -side -by -side, that's kind of where, where I think she's going to land. Um, other than that, I mean, they're just fucking so good. I just... I love Julius. Julius is like one of my all-time favorite hazies. And every time, because um, I don't get it that much, I don't go to Treehouse and I don't kind of go out of my way to grab it all that often. Um, every time I have it, I'm surprised and taken back as about uh, about how much I like it, how much I dig it. And that's a cool experience. Every time going into it, you expect it to be a little bit of a hold hat. And I, I don't think I'll ever get tired of this beer. Um, pretty tasty stuff. Yeah, so there we go. Base. King, three J's. Let's start over here for this one. Let's see what we're, what we're dealing with here. Pull this little top off here. Okay, how wrong am I going to be? Um, I forget what the ABVs on. I mean, I assume they're going to run the same kind of style in ABV. What do we have here? This B. King, so I screwed up on that one. There you go. So wrong. O for one. Watch. Oh, it wouldn't be awesome if I was wrong on all of them. So this one over here, I'm dealing with King Julius. Uh, this is eight point two percent, much bigger than what I thought. It kind of makes sense though now, because the other one here's a, here's the kind of trick um, with it is that the sweetness, the residual sweetness for me, came mostly from. Um, bigger beers, and that's what I kind of associated. I fucked them all up. I love this. I love the fact that I fucked them all up. Um, this middle one is the OG, and this one comes off the sweetest for me. Which is really weird, man. I'm kind of excited I got it these all fucking wrong. And then we're going to have King over here. Um, yeah. Or J -J Julius over here. Hmm. I'm going to have to go back and see, watch my re-reviews of these and see which ones I like the most. But I, I, I was going based off of what my feeling was. Um, off of off of, uh, off of the greens. And this is kind of opposite because I'm not saying my palate is shit. Um, it could be. But this is by far this is by far the sweetest one. So that's where you'd be like, okay, the highest ABV one. You're talking about J -J Julius here is 6.8. You're talking about the base. I forget what the base is. It's probably right around there, 6.8. So these are both the same as far as sweetness goes, which kind of makes sense, kind of tracks more on my palate from what I experience in general across beer, with this one being the higher ABV one being the one with the most sweetness, obviously, higher in ABV, more malt, maybe a little bit more residual sweetness. The reason why it fucked me up here, and just goes to show you, you should really stick to your guns and not kind of 
change all that much based off of what you're tasting, but it was such a different route on the ones I did for green. And that the lowest ABV one ended up being the sweetest one. That's why I kind of went with the kind of king over here, or sorry, the triple J over here, and then having the other ones kind of being the other end of the spectrum. But really, I mean, this is like, it kind of goes from least sweet impact to the biggest. Let's see if that holds true one more time. I mean, they're all sweet beers, obviously. That's weird now. This one tastes the sweetest to me. That it goes to show you how not science this shit is. How it's fun as fuck. I'm glad I got to do it. I'm kind of even more pumped that I screwed them all up. Um, but... It's so fun to put these things side by side and drink them. And I implore you to do so, not just with this, but with other beers that you've had. And, and just give them the old college try and, 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 and see how they fare for you. Because the way these beers impact and the way they come off to me were much different one, with than what I thought they would be based off of those previous learnings from the green blinds. But they're all delicious beers. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, this is my favorite treehouse beer. Uh, and you're talking about a favorite beer from a brewery that kind of crushes it when it comes to the style you know what i mean it's my favorite kind of uh hazy brewery out there um a lot of people's favorite hazy brewery but for me um it's kind of second to none and kind of fun to run through these so i first thing i gotta do is thank max very much for setting this up this is super cool dude um i wouldn't be able to do this without you or any of you guys have sent me these beers over the years so yeah super fun little semi mystery beer um, definitely didn't land this one properly, but I had a blast doing it. Uh, so let's cut to the chase. Are these some of the better hazies that I've had as of late? Yes, across the board, these are quite delicious. I mean, this is winter, winter, winter chicken dinner for me over here. But the other ones are no slouch, and I've always been a huge fan of King Julius. It's kind of like which ones, you know, it's like picking between the best of the best, not that one's lesser. Well, I guess it is lesser. It's not that any of them are bad or negative or mediocre. All of them are great. It's just one's the greatest assist of them all, uh, at least at this blind. Uh, as far as dates go for you guys, we got 11.21 here, we have 12.4 here, and we have 12.12 here. Hey. The freshest one I like the best. Maybe there's a little bit to that, too. So, um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I certainly did. Uh, these are some of the best ones out there. That's no kind of secret a lot of you people know that already but um it's just fun to do i don't even know how to end this shit now i'm just saying they're delicious you have to go to the brewery to get them and if you like what we like these if you like orange juice and you like hazies and you like new school beer these are going to do you all the kinds of proper so there you go another mystery beer in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it i love the mystery beers the only way i can do them is because of you guys so if you ever want to jump on a mystery beer train shoot me an email massivebeers at gmail.com um, if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, just type in Massive Beers into Google. If you want to see me doing the podcasting thing, we've talked to Dean from Treehouse before. You can check that out. Type in Beer Massive into the old gooks. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the mystery side-by-sides. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice treehouse right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>